Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland. We filled this. We only have one case of this 2017 Freak Mix. Freak Mix featuring Giannis Antetokounmpo. So pretty cool stuff. Um, we're gonna pop open this case that's right here. There it is, Freak Mix. And the, each case is numbered right here. We have case 48 out of 250, or is that six, 260, something like that. 250 or 260, kind of looks like a six actually. Anyhow, they didn't make very many of these. Each case will have either a Giannis Antetokounmpo jer autograph jersey or an autograph photo. It'll be one of those hits. And then the other 12 hits are gonna be uh, boxes of 2013-14 basketball product, which obviously features the Greek freak and uh, his rookie year. And then we're gonna open up those boxes as well. But like, like, a, like a normal random hit break, I'm gonna open up the case, pull out all of the hits, type them into random.org, and then roll the dice, randomize your names, randomize the hits, and thank you to all of you, by the way, for giving this a shot. Randomize the names, randomize the hits, put them together, and see what we got. And in a separate randomizer, I'll give away a holiday scratcher. We'll see if you can win an extra prize right there. So, first things first, let's pop this open. There's also, if I bring this camera up this way, it's a pretty huge box. There's a security seal here, here too. It's pretty intense. All right, so, box is a 16 by 16 by 12. Crazy, alright. Uh, there's packing peanuts inside. Alright, looks like we got one of these. That might be the photo, so no jersey. So here are the boxes. So it's all 2012-13. Let me give myself some more room here. I was hoping there would be a jersey. Doesn't look like there's a jersey. So we got this guy. That looks like the autograph photo in a nice Milwaukee Bucks green. We have Crusade basketball. Another box of Crusade basketball. Now, the sell sheet said that you're not going to find no more, any more than two of the same product in here. We have, wow, nice, timeless, I haven't seen this in a while, timeless treasures. Pinnacle. Hoops. Prestige. Another box of Timeless. Some Titanium. Another box of titanium. Some elite, nice, 1314 elite. Thirteen fourteen Panini NBA trading cards. Nice, what is this? It's just, just Panini basketball, just regular old Panini basketball. Another box of that, 1314 Panini Basketball. Another box of hoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, did I count that right? There's another box of Elite right here. That is it, folks. Yep, nothing else. I poured out all of the peanuts. So there's nothing else in that box, all right. Just wanted to double check that. So let's see here. One, two, three, 
four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We have fourteen boxes. All right, what I'm going to do to make this easy on myself here, I'm going to combine some of these boxes together. got some extras here. I'm going to combine the hoops together, combine the NBA basketball, we'll combine these together. I think these are the lower end ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. All right, so I'm, I'm combining the hoops and just the regular NBA basketball, the Panini basketball together. I think that makes the most sense. All the other ones I feel like can stand on their own. All right, so let's go to random.org. So these are all 13, 13, 14 product, and it's all looks like Panini, except for the Pinnacle, actually. No, that's, that's Panini as well, it's under their brand. All right, so Crusade, Crusade. Timeless Treasures, Timeless Treasures, oh, and the uh, Greek Freak Photo, Titanium, Titanium, Pinnacle, Prestige, Perfect. <clears throat> All right, how am I going to keep these organized and think that through? Well, it'll make sense. They're all they're all they're all different anyway. Okay, here we go. We'll just separate the individual ones. Okay. So we have, let me just double check here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 for the 13 spots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's randomize each list. Yeah, I just, I, I wasn't prepared on the organization. I was just like, wait, I have to separate all these out. These are all different names. 3 and a 1, four times for each list. 1, 2, Three and a one, four times. Vasilis down to Adam, a couple times for Adam. And then that holiday scratch will be a separate dice roll and a separate randomizer. Three and a one, four times for the hits. One, two, three, and a one, four times. Prestige down to a couple timeless treasures boxes, which both go to Adam. All right, and we'll do this holiday scratcher. Someone else will get that. All right, so Vasilis with the prestige box. John, you got the Greek freak autograph photo. Vasilis with the pinnacle, titanium, and a couple hoops. Lee with titanium. John with crusade. Vasilis with elite. Amanda with elite. Brian with the last ball mojo, the two box of Panini basketball. Crusade for Vasilis, and timeless treasures, timeless treasures for Adam. All right, actually, I need to delete that for a second. Let's. Random or uh, sort by name. There you go. So we'll go uh, alphabetically. Actually, we'll do John's photo first, just so we can see what the photo looks like. All right, John Hogan, good luck. And there it is. Oh, this is a nice one. 
There's the man himself, and it's a gold ink autograph on a nice 8x10. Nice, there you go. We got all the authentication and everything. And there you have it. Nice, yeah, the gold ink looks really nice on that. What happened in that USC game? The announcer's going crazy. Oh, there was a wacky interception. Put John Hogan's name on this. Congrats, John. Thanks for getting in. Yeah, opening this now, Brian. You have a problem with that? Brian Sayers? I don't. Nothing else is sold out. You know, unless you're about to sell something out, my friend. Just kick back and enjoy. All right. Adam, this makes this actually makes life easy. Eh? Two timeless treasures boxes for you. We have one, two, three, four, five, six names. Let me get some six things here. Nice containers that we use. So this is what I'll use for this guy here. Okay, Adam, good luck. So there you go. Obviously, 1314 Timeless Treasures Basketball. Now you're looking at two autographs and one memorabilia card per box. So four autos. All right, four autographs. If one of them is Giannis Antetokounmpo, that's gonna be a, a good day for you. I haven't seen this in ages. All right, here we go. Good luck. We're gonna start off with Sean Marion. Out of 299. We got Ray Allen, Treasured Threads. Time to Shine autograph, Etwan Moore, 71 out of 249. And we've got Mark Aguirre out of 299. And you got a die cut right here, Kyrie. Nice. So that was your first box of Timeless Treasures. And Adam had the other one as well. Hey, Vasilis, what's going on, man? All right, Adam, one more for you. Rajon Rondo out of 299. 45 out of 49. Terrence Jones. Nice Terrence Jones relic. Uh, I did know that, Vasilis. I saw that. How could you not? Oh, that 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 got me, Adam. I saw the logo. I didn't read the name. I saw the logo and I was like, oh, to be honest? Oh, no, it's, it's Ekpe Udo, 92 out of 99. Got trolled right there. Trolled on that one. 
Kiki Vandeweghe out of 299 is your other autograph, and that is that is that. And we got timeless teams as well, and those old Bucks teams. All right, well there you have it. Thanks for giving that a shot, Adam. Let me move this into. Container here. <coughs> These packing peanuts, dust everywhere. All right. Next up, Amanda. You have an elite box. There's actually two elite boxes, so. I'm gonna have to randomly select one for you using the uh, using the die. So one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side, and it's three. So one, two, three. So we'll do this side. This other box will be four. Or I'm sorry, we gotta do elite. My bad. We'll do it again. Oh, we'll stick with three. So it'll be the left side right there. So this other one will be for Vasilis. This one is for you, Amanda. I know, I just realized that. Right? All right, so Elite, Amanda. Bunch of cards in here, you get everything. Uh, two autographs and two memorabilia cards per box. Got Kyrie on the front. All right, so this is for Amanda. We are on the hunt for Giannis Antetokounmpo, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, Greek Freak Break that was on our site, jazbeeshobbyland.com. They only made 260 or so of these cases. And all these boxes are 2013-14. 2013-14. So we're on the hunt for Giannis Antetokounmpo rookie autographs. This is pretty much a, uh, a 12 box basketball mixer. Except you get it, you get your own box or two as the case may be. Now, out of all these boxes, you would think there would be at least one Giannis Antetokounmpo autograph in here, right? You get one rookie autograph out of here, that's going to be pretty strong. That will most likely cover the spot in most cases, I would imagine. Even a base autograph. Amanda, good luck. We got Jalen Rose. Good old Jalen Rose, throwback threads for the Bulls. Oh, I get more blank cards to play with here. There's Steven Adams to 199. And Jeff Witte. Two color patch, autograph, Pelicans edition. Strong Pelicans. Well, there are plenty in the second case, Arthur. Think about that. Th think about the wins, not the losses. There's a uh, Carlos Boozer out of 99. 
was Kyle Korver. Um, world be free. Nice. And back to the future, Chris Bosch. Does he ever play again? That, the health issue may hold him back. He, I think he's claiming that he's okay. Doctors are concerned. He's got a, a heart issue, I believe. If I remember correctly. And we've got an autograph right here. We've got Nikola Vucevic. Nice, 40 out of 49. See what he uh, Elvin Hayes, die cut, nineteen out of fifty six. I think that's it. I think those are our four hits. No Giannis Antetokounmpo yet. I don't think I've even seen a Giannis Antetokounmpo base card. Negative. All right. Well, Amanda, thanks for giving that a go. Move this break away, put it in its own container here. I actually need to probably should sleeve all of these up too before I forget. Organization is the key to uh, organization is key to every good breaker out there. All right, next up, Brian with your last spot mojo. Two Panini basketball boxes. There were some extras, so we combined a couple together. There you go. Good luck. What do we have in here? So a lot of packs, a lot of cards, two autographs per box. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that, John, for the second time. Sorry. The more you ask makes me less inclined to do it. Now, there's no good way of giving away those briefcases. We give those away to the kids that come into the store. Those briefcases are not being given away. Ever, ladies and gentlemen, in case you were wondering. The problem is, John, you know how many people would be pissed if I just gave it to you? You know how many people have asked over the years that I've been doing this? You've said no pretty much almost every time, I think. So if I started, if I just gave you one just for the hell of it, there'd be a lot of people in the room who'd be like, hey, what about me? And then that would, that would, that would cause a whole, whole S storm. Right, there you go, Arthur would be angry. See, there you go. Can't do it, not gonna do it. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> there better be a, these packs are kind of terrible too, I can't even open these.
Well, there's two autographs per box. So, I didn't realize there were gonna be a lot of this many packs when I was doing this. Still have hoops, two boxes of hoops, and another box of Elite to go. It's all right. Well, nothing else is filled up, so I'm okay. I'll just take my sweet time here. Hey, I'll be happy once I pull a Giannis Antetokounmpo autograph for uh, for Brian, for Brian Dunn, for Rusty, for Platypus, a man of many names. Did you see a base card? Oh, okay, I, I will pull those. I will pull those base cards. I must have used some kind of crazy glue back in 2013-14. All right. It's going all right, DC. We have not seen any Giannis yet, except for the one that uh, John Hogan got. Jay Nuts got the uh, the 8x10 gold ink autoed Giannis photo. There was no jersey, so we're still on the hunt. Night school, I get it. That's OJ Mayo. Nope, not the buck we want. And we've got, oh, rated rookie, Anthony Bennett. 15 out of 100. What is Anthony Bennett doing right now? What do you think Anthony Bennett's doing right now? Watching this break, maybe? Hi, Anthony. Oh, savage, Joe. Getting my meatball sub ready. Damn. Savage. Arthur says he's going to night school. Man. What if he what if he's watching right now? What if he's watching right now? I know, yeah, the Cavs picked him over Giannis. That is for sure. Where's the other autograph? I want a base card of Ante de Campo, you know? At least those probably still have those probably still have value, right? Ah! Ta-da! That's got to be worth something. I, I, I'm not even kidding. That's got to be worth something on a secondary market, right? Rookie cards of his. Nice. There you go. Spencer Haas, fractor not numbered. And there is John Lucas III. What is John Lucas doing?
All right. Brian, do you want all of these? Or do you just want the hits? Let me know. No, maybe you do. Oh, you have kids, right? Maybe they'll enjoy messing around with these. You just want hits? Okay. Yeah, John Luke is sitting next to Anthony Bennett in night school. All right, next up is uh, John Oakray with a box of Crusade. The box of Crusade. Then it'll be Lee with a box of Titanium, and then Vasilis, you have the rest. Nice, another Giannis. Go. All right, let's see what we got. Couple more autographs. Rudy Gay? No, not an autograph. Not even, not numbered. I'll send that though, might as well. Now that I know what to look for. Jim, F Jim Fredette? Jimmer Fredette? Look at that. I think he's crushing it in China. Isn't he playing in China and like just going nuts? And Solomon Hill is your other autograph. There you go. Right, he is huge in China, right? Jimmer? That's what I thought. I think that's going to be it. Brian, well, I appreciate you giving this a shot. Do you want the do you want the rookie cards out of here too? Should we sort those out and inserts and stuff? Or do you want to just ship those? Just ship the the hits. The hits pile. Let me know. Either way is fine. Alright. Move this aside here. Just hits, okay. Thank you. All righty. 
We're moving along just fine. We're moving along just fine. Next up is... So John got his uh, Greek Freak autograph photograph. Looked pretty cool. John Okre, Crusade. We are crusading for Antetokounmpo autographs. All right, there's two boxes in here. Let's roll the die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, good luck, sir. Thanks for getting in. What are we looking for out of here? It says one autograph, one memorabilia card per box. All right, Mr. Okre, good luck. We got Rodney Stuckey out of 249. And we've got a die cut right here, Ray Allen. Nice, 93 out of 99. We've got DeAndre Jordan, not numbered. And there is your autograph, Reggie Jackson. There's like a, a fine little powder on here. Uh, nope, B-I-T-W. The world is your oyster. Help fill up a break. Nothing after this has been filled up. There's KD, it's 349. We've got a 14 out of 25, James Harden. And out of 249, Reggie Bullock and there's Steve Nash, Quest memorabilia. Well, there you have it. All right, John Okray. Well, that's that. Thanks for giving it a shot. Organized here. All right. I need more soft sleeves. Does that mean we have to ship the the base to you? All right. Well, we'll ship it to 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 Rusty, and then you you and Rusty can figure it out. Uh, Lee with the titanium. It's one of the titaniums here. Vasilis has the other one. All right. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. And it's one. 
We'll do this side. All right, Lee. Good luck. So what are we expecting out of here? Two autographs and three memorabilia cards per box. Okay. I like what I'm seeing here. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, stop with that, John. It's getting annoying. We get it. A flawless briefcase is not going to you. All right. Sixty-one out of ninety-nine. There's Blake Griffin, Ish Smith. Oh, look at that, Ish Smith. What is Ish Smith doing these days? And Deron Williams out of two ninety-nine. And Kevin Durant, dual relic, Kevin Durant. One out of 25, that's not too bad. Nice. And Russell Westbrook relic. Uh, when, when they were together, Those were the days. All right. There's Kyrie. Not Kyrie's not even on that team anymore out of 49. And Gordon Hayward's not even on that team. Nice Gordon Hayward autograph, though. New Wave Auto. I don't know. I don't think that's his rookie year, though. Right? That's not his rookie year. But there's Gordon Hayward. And D-Wade on the back. None of these guys. D-Wade not even on the Heat anymore. All right, well, Lee Cheeseman. That's, that wasn't, uh, yeah, that wasn't that bad of a box for Lee Cheeseman. All right. Now, the rest are for Vasilis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Uh, we should be, Sam. All right. Hoops. You got two boxes of hoops, Vasilis. Let's take inventory really quick. Do we have your box of prestige? Yes. Prestige, right here. We have your box of Prestige. Do we have your box of Pinnacle? Yes, Pinnacle, right there. Do we have your bo two boxes of hoops? Yes, you saw them right here. One and two. Uh, yeah, only 10 packs in hoops, Kyle, thank God. There's only 50 cards per pack though. All right. And we've got your, we got the Elite, I showed you that, right? There's Elite, and then there's Crusade. Good luck. All we need is a Giannis right here. All right, hoops first, two autographs and one memorabilia card per box.
VMAX, Bacillus. I, you, you don't want all these cards, do you? Or do you? <laughs> you can. I mean, it's yours. But let me know. If you just want hits, we'll just send you hits. We can sort out the other stuff. Yeah, actually, I was just going to say that, Kyle. Um, I, when, it, when, you, when you feel that box, it, you, actually, you actually are kind of taken aback because you, you don't expect the box to be that weight. I was like, you can probably, you can probably swing that box around and really hurt someone. You do act. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. There's plenty of stuff here. Just one big box for you. Yeah, there may be some other hidden treasures and, and stuff like this. So never know. All right. Actually, I think, I think you get... Get a big monster box here to put all this stuff in. This UCLA USC game is kind of interesting. USC is only five points ahead on UCLA. A couple minutes left in the fourth quarter. All right, Vasilis, good luck, man. All it takes is one and a couple. All right, so we're going to breeze through these. We're gonna breeze through these. There's Lou L. Dang, the bane of my existence and the Lakers' existence with this with that contract of his. I'm trying to see if I'm not if Well, we're shipping everything, so. Try not to miss any Ante de Campo rookie cards here. Ah, there's one. Did anyone expect, did, did people expect him to be this good? Was this, it? I mean, He's just ball he's just straight balling out now. Onto the compo. I was gonna say the same thing, John. He's like he's really beefed up over the years. Yeah, he's gotten big. I think on another on another one of those rookie cards it says it says six ten and two hundred and ten pounds. He's gotta be like I don't know, a lot bigger than that now. But yeah, I know he's only 22. That's the crazy thing. But I don't know. I, I don't know if his ceiling was question mark, or if uh, or if people were kind of like, yeah, I mean that's a gamble. But we'll see. He could, if you get lucky, he his ceiling could be really high. I don't know. Maybe Vasilis. Do you remember Vasilis back in the day?
Uh, well, the draft class, yeah, I'm trying to, I, I honestly don't remember who was hyped up in this draft because, honestly, as the years have gone on, this draft class has been somewhat forgettable. And I think, and the fact that, and the fact that Antetokounmpo has been far and away, like, the best kid out of this draft class is the other, is the other thing as well. He kind of overshadows everybody. Since we have time. So Anted Kumpo was uh, was drafted fifteenth overall. Uh, top one was uh, Anthony Bennett. Anthony Bennett, not too much out of Mr. Bennett, I'm afraid. And uh, yeah, Oladipo was two. Otto Porter, Cody Zeller, Alex Len. I'm just going down the line. Nerlens Noel, Ben McLemore, Contavious Caldwell Pope, actually KCP. Did okay. Trey Burke, CJ McCollum, Michael Carter Williams. Yeah, Carter Williams was in there too. And we have a buck, but not really the buck that you want. Sidney Moncrief is your first auto. I think we're supposed to have two autos, so we should be ha we should have one more auto and one more relic. It says two autograph or no, just one relic. So I should we should be expecting one more autograph out of this box. I don't think I missed one. Maybe I did I? Oh, do I not? Do I have to go through all those again? I do. Unless they, unless they shorted me an autograph. Fear the deer. Yes, this is the Anted Compo mixer. No, I could have sworn I. Come on, man. It probably says on average, yeah. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think there was one. It says two, but that might be a lie. No, I did miss one. <laughs> there it is. Michael Bantam, of course. Arthur, do you remember this guy? Arthur being a Suns guy.
Uh, the buy-in fear the deer was one thirty four ninety nine, I believe. Per random hit, you're guar you were guaranteed a hit. All right, mystery solved. All that for Michael Bantam. All right, another box of hoops. Abner always says, why is the average always in their favor? I don't know, somewhere out there, there's a hoops, there's a hoops box, box or, or a few, a handful of hoops boxes with three autographs in there. And someone is saying, uh, someone is saying on Twitter right now, or Twitter back in 2013, they're just like, oh my God, three autographs out of NBA hoops. Wow. Thanks, Panini. All right. Um, our Auntie DeCampo. Yeah, thanks, Arthur, for pointing that out. Oh, and yeah, and Arthur says he'll he'll buy that son off of you too. Um, our Auntie DeCampo quest continues, ladies and gentlemen. The only autograph we've seen is Jay Nuts' 8x10 gold ink autograph photo of Giannis Antetokounmpo. We have yet to find one out of these boxes. And we do have plenty of boxes to go, so we'll, we'll see. I can't believe they, they packed 50 cards in here. Crazy. All right. All right, Vasilis, good luck. It's a family show, Arthur. It's a family show. I'm just quoting the just quoting the username. There is Chris Wilcox. There you go. Arthur, any comment on that? <laughs> Is it after, it's not after hours. There's still kids up, it's a family show. I can't be saying things like nuts on the show, right? It's a family show. You know, and we're adults here. We, can, we can't be giggling every time we say Wilcox or Jay Nuts. You know, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna catch me saying things like that. Jake Butt, tight end, come on. Now grow up, everybody. Oh, that's an artist proof right there. Joe Kim Noah. Grow up, everybody. Can't just, can't say it's a family show. Just. Saturday night, Arthur, their kids up late. Parents are laying their kids up late. They're like, yeah, sure. There are kids around the world, Arthur. The millions of people who watch this show. The millions of people who watch this show. Their parents have let them up. Let them stay up. They're like, gosh, mom, dad. Can we please stay up late and watch Jaspies? Sure, son. Sure, daughter. You can watch. You can watch Jaspies. There's Karan Butler. You can watch Jaspies. You can stay up late and watch Ash because they're a good, clean family show. I'll bet they're they're tuning in right when, when right when I'm saying nuts. And there's Arthur giggling like a high school, like a middle school kid. And then we're getting angry phone calls. We thought you were a family. Big angry email. We thought you were a family show. And we turn on the show and we hear you saying saying nuts on camera. Unbelievable. You know, I can't say nuts on camera. That's just, that's not professional. We need to find ink on that one, Vasilis. You know, I can't say that.
I'll forward the emails to you, Arthur. I'll forward, I'll forward the emails to you. Dear Jaspies. Subject. Family show? Question mark, question mark, question mark. We were in the room one night just having just the, our, fam, our quiet family of four just sitting around the warmth of the laptop. You know, just sitting around the glow of the laptop, like the it's a, which is the modern day campfire. You know, we're sitting around the glow of the laptop watching Jaspies. We flick on the TV, power up the YouTube, you know. And there you guys are, giggling about nuts. I assure you, Arthur, th those are words I am not going to say at all. We're professional. It's a professional. It's a family show. I w cannot be saying things like nuts on air. Just inappropriate language. Inappropriate language. I apologize to the millions of Jaspies viewers all around the world, from coast to coast and all around the world. I apologize for such foul language being used on this channel. Realize it's a fan. Hey, this is pretty cool. Vasilis, in all seriousness. Oladipo. I feel like I feel like he got he he won me fifty cents on in a DraftKings lineup not too long ago. The number two overall pick. Alright, but that's not super helpful because it's not Giannis Antetokounmpo. I understand that. But I think we can start speeding ahead through this through this now because we've pulled out all the hits yet. Well, Kyle Kramer, I, I, I try to add a bit of entertainment to this. We, we, that's how we add value to, to case breaks, ladies and gentlemen. Good old hoops. I should have gotten that metal detector, Vasilis. We were talking about this earlier. Adam Kupperman was like, hey, Joe, you should get a metal detector. Scan it over the uh, scan over the box and let us know if we should buy it or not. If it detects a, a flawless briefcase, would have sold. I, I would have cranked up the price. It would have sold that in seconds. Now, I appreciate everybody getting into this. This this is why we do it. This is the thrill of the chase. All it takes is all it takes is a couple of Giannis Antetokounmpo autographs to pop out of here, and then it's like, wow, wish I would have gotten the break, et cetera, et cetera. It's the risk. All right. Um, what should we do next? Uh, let's do Elite next. I don't know, what's heavier? Prestige is kind of heavy. This is kind of heavy. We'll do, we'll do Pinnacle. I want to, I want to get the big, the big cards out of the way. Well, I don't know, John. Uh, there is, um, there, they said that I think it's 250 or 260 cases made. I don't know how many jerseys were in the whole print run. I can't imagine there'd be more than like a few, maybe five, ten, maybe, out of the 250 or 60 boxes or cases that they made of this. I don't know. Maybe there's only one. I, I don't think so, though. They probably had to have, I, I can't imagine it being more than like five or ten, though, in that kind of print run. I do not remember Pinnacle at all. Panini Pinnacle. This is a hobby jumbo. 30 cards per pack. Strap in, Kyle. Get ready. Get ready. Buckle up. You're in for a wild ride. Man, is that right, Arthur? This, I'm just, I am ruining the youth of America. All right, Vasilis, good luck, man.
Wait, what what are, what hits are we looking for in here? Where'd that box go? Two autographs and one memorabilia card per box. All right, here we go. Come on, onto DeCumpo autograph. That's what I want to see. Oh, there's first quarter. Dwight Howard. It's pretty cool. What's So these were the days when they were experimenting with that clear vision sort of style. I like going, I actually do enjoy going through these old products because you can really, because you know, there's a tendency to get a little cynical about, you know, the design of products and blah, and, and stuff these days. But it's nice to see these old products and, and be like, oh my God, you can see how far a lot of, uh, a lot of car design has come in just a short amount of time. This is 2013, 14, you know what I mean? So. It's cool to see, in my opinion, because it gives you a it gives you kind of a good reference point on all that. Jared Dudley is your pinnacle autograph. What is Jerry? What is Jared Dudley doing these days? There's the relic, Steve Nash, Lakers edition of Steve Nash. I don't want to remember Steve Nash's Lakers edition of Steve Nash. Suns or Mavericks edition of Steve Nash is just fine with me. Not Lakers edition. Oh, sad times. Oh, I see. There's second quarter clear vision. Sean Kemp. Yeah, that guy was a beast. And there's first quarter. I kind of like that. I, like, I kind of like the quarter theme that they have going there. And Ray McCallum is your other autograph. Oh, is Dudley still on the is on the Suns now? Hmm. There's Ray McCallum. All right, there you go, Vasilis. And that's the rest. All right, we're getting closer to the higher end. I've, I'm purposely saving the higher end stuff for last. All right, let's go with, um, 
Prestige right here. John's asking, does me have a warehouse somewhere where they can stockpile all the sold stuff? No, they, I mean, these are, these are uh, already sold to the hands of the, to the hands of the, uh, the distributors. So it goes from the wholesaler, Panini, Upper Deck, Tops, etc., the manufacturer, and then it goes to the distributor who then distributes, sells it to us, hobby shops, breakers, etc., etc., etc. Oh, uh, Arthur, who's a Suns guy, say, says a Dudley was released before the season started. Oh, there you go. Get your latest Jared Dudley news here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I don't know what that mystery powder is all about. I, mean, I feel like that's uh, that and all the packing peanuts in this small studio space here. I'm getting my allergies to act up a little bit. I'm also allergic to not... Uh, the, I'm also allergic to not finding any Antetokounmpo autographs. It's bothersome to me. Almost done, folks. Oh my God, we're already at the one hour and thir 12 minute mark on this break. Man. I was hoping there'd be like a, a National Treasures, Immaculate, and a bunch of prison boxes. The prison, man, I was kind of hoping we'd, we would get some of the prison boxes. That's a pretty standard. You know, like if you would look at a lot of buyback products, sorry, I hit the mic. Yeah, if, if you look at a lot of buyback products, you'll realize that a lot of that buyback stuff that's graded comes from Prism. Because it really it holds its value pretty well over the uh, over the years, especially when you're talking about about the rookies like uh, like Ante de Campo, which is what we're looking for here. Franchise Mark, Larry Sanders, franchise favorites, that is. I don't think we've even found a, in that pinnacle, we didn't even see a Ante de Campo base card. Aha, uh -huh. but there's one right here out of Prestige. I'm sure these still have some sort of value. And I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you can start grading some of this stuff, maybe see if, uh, see if you can get a nice grade off of that. All right, and my boy Ryan Kelly. No, he, I don't think he's not even close to the Lakers anymore. There, there was a mild bit of hope for, for Ryan Kelly out here in Los Angeles. We had a little bit of hope. Duke guy, I think, was he? Something like that. I need to follow college basketball more closely. I don't like those. Bailey Howell, old school autograph. It's pretty cool, 85 out of 99. Nice. Still no Ante de Campo though, man. There's Thaddeus Young, that's the relic. 13 out of 
And there's bonus shots. Joel Anthony. Gosh, I haven't thought of Joel Anthony in a little bit. All right, and that's that for that box. All right, well, three boxes go. All right, Vasilis, do you have a preference on, on, on which one you want me to do first? We have Titanium, we have Crusade, and we have Elite. Let me grab a glass of water. Unless Vasilis went to sleep. He's like, forget it. I'll watch the video in the morning. I'm like a good I'm like a good point guard keeping keeping people involved in the game. We'll go with Elite first. We'll have Vasilis, you can choose between the last two if you'd like. What's the highest end product that came out of this box? Uh, it's, it has to be either this titanium or the uh, Timeless Treasures is pretty nice. Frankly though, in all honesty, even though we're not seeing the big hits come out of here, all these 13, 14 uh, boxes, so Vizzles has no preference, okay. All these 13, 14 boxes, all the value, because of Antetokounmpo, the value of all of these boxes have gone up. Um, I think Rory was saying the other day, he was like, and he's uh, he's a uh, he's a Wisconsin guy. He's a, he's a Bucks guy, and he was saying that boxes of Prism. I think he was saying that they were up to like three hundred dollars a box now, and when they came out, it was probably probably retailed for what one hundred and fifty or something like that, one twenty. So the prices on all of these boxes have gone up significantly. Only be well, A, because supply and demand. This is 13 14 product, there's not much around. And B, now that the supply has dwindled a little bit, now the demand for it has gone up since Ante de Campo has been, has been playing lights out pretty much for the last season and the beginning of this season. So he's picking up right where he left off, so the demand for this has increased significantly. So, I mean, that's why this break was definitely worth it. It's worth a shot, worth the chase. All right, well, three boxes to go, Facilis. Two autograph, two memorabilia cards in this one. Let's get these out of the way first. All right, good luck, sir. We've got Anthony Hardaway. Throwback threads, that's one of our threads. For what, on the prism is 420? There you go, so even more, 425 on that prism. So, John, that gives you an idea of how much the value on this, uh, on, on pretty much 13, 14 products across the board, how much they've gone up. Prism especially, that's one of the more popular products for, for rookies. Patch Auto, Tony Mitchell, 38 out of 5.99. So yeah, in original retail, if you look up original retail, John, there it's just not that high at all. There's Andre Roberson at 79. Still there, still an OKC, right? Pretty sure he is. I like the optimism of all these insert sets. I mean, you know, I mean, back in 2013, you don't know, right? You know, so like, 
you make these kind of compares. Because <laughs> you don't know. You honestly don't know. So they just build they build out an insert set called Passing the Torch and you put a bunch of people on there to see what happens. Rajon Rondo's put together a pretty good career. Dominators, Kemba Walker, Relic. Kemba Walker actually had a great game the other night. He's actually, uh, like how would you say it? he's actually coming into his own? You would, you could say. Al Jefferson die cut. That. My heart skipped for a second, but. It's a Jersey Auto of Nate Walters out of 599. You need to re rewrite Antetokounmpo there. All right, well. Is that numbered? No. Well, two boxes to go. Lakers edition of Shaq. Not even a Ante Decombo base card. All right. All of the sills were getting down to the wire. Good luck, sir. I guess like with the other stuff, we'll go with the one that has the most packs first, and we'll close out with the one with the fewest packs. So this has six, this has five, so we'll do this one first. All right, good luck, Vasilis. This also has a uh, holiday scratcher attached to it, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does. So we'll do that randomizer after this. There it is right there. This one has, what does this have? One autograph, one memorabilia card per box. Del Curry, nice. Out of 249. Steph said. I'm going to do these one by one because I want to, so this is the weird powder is on here. Archie Goodwin. I remember there was a, uh, there was a Prism, Chandler Parsons, a Prism baseball set one year. It's Anthony Davis that had even more of this. It was like coated, like you can actually see this chalky kind of powder. Oh, uh, Kyle thing, Elite was actually the most expensive box in here. I, I can see that. There's Larry Nance. Some place for the Lakers. There you go, Quest autograph. There's a uh, Corey Brewer. Oh, sorry. There's Anthony Hardaway to 349. They they use this chalk to uh, allow the cards to kind of slide together um, a little more loosely to actually preserve the surface grade on that, but sometimes in manufacturing they'll accidentally use too much. There's Andrew Bogut, who's with the uh, Lakers now, actually, on a 249. There's your relic, Isaiah Thomas. Pistons, Isaiah Thomas.
All right, out of 25, Larry Bird. Okay. Down to our final box. Vasilis, I appreciate you getting spot a bunch of spots in this. And I'm hoping that this last box will deliver. Our hopes are pinned upon titanium. Good luck. No, no one wants to do that. Good luck. Here we go. Fundamentals, Ty Lawson out of 199, and then Pau Gasol relic to 299. And we got New Wave Autograph, Deontay Garrett. I think, do we get one more? Yeah, there's two autographs, right? So we're looking for one more autograph. Carrick Felix out of 22. And Norris Cole. That's the last autograph. New Wave Auto. Well, that's the end, Vasilis. Unless there's a bonus auto in there. I appreciate you getting in. No onto DeCumpo, but it was a a valiant search. There's Kevin Love to 299. And a Kobe Bryant elements relic in there, another Kobe. All right there, Kobe. So we'll slide these away. We'll ship you all this stuff, Vasilis, as soon as we can. Thank you very much for getting in. All right, folks, we did not find Giannis Antetokounmpo in all of these breaks, but, but it was a valiant effort. Thank you very much, everyone, for giving this a shot. Let's, uh, let's do another randomizer. For the holiday scratcher so let's go back to this list right here let's get all the names let's get them back on this list here let's roll the dice seven times five and a two seven times for this list one two three four five six and seventh and final time look at that after seven times john hogan new guy mojo that's jay nuts holiday scratcher good luck See what you get. There's actually basketball boxes in here too. All right, good luck. Oh, look at this. You get some baseball. Topps Vault Originals 5x7. It's one of those uh, Topps Vault Originals 5x7 autographed uh, photos right there. We'll send you a sealed envelope. They come in those envelopes. Check it out. There you go. Nice prize. Congrats. Thanks, everybody. That was the uh, Greek Freak Mixer, the Antetokounmpo break. Thanks for joining us. JazzPeaceHobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.